and welcome back to my channel. I decided since it is finally warm enough and my allergy medication is strong enough, I was going to film today's video outside. I hope you guys are all enjoying a fantastic start to the summer season. And today I wanted to share with you my summer bucket list because I've seen some other channels do this and I find it really inspiring so I thought I would share mine and if you have not yet shared yours you can make a video and let me know or you can leave comments down in the description let me know what is on your summer bucket list. Number one on mine is something that has been on my bucket list for a very long time and it is to finally run a 5k. I used to train for running all the time and I would never run more than 45 to 60 minutes. Now I'm lucky if I get 15 to 20, but it's finally on my list to do the 3.2 mile 5K run. It will be happening next month, July 15th. Number two on my list is probably on a lot of YouTubers lists and it's to get ahead on my video scheduling. I'm going to try to get at least two to three weeks ahead. A lot of people that I've talked to that have channels and consistently upload content say it is so much better for you to have like two or three weeks already pre-filmed so you're just editing that. Let's take the more stressful approach and do it a week to 10 days in advance and I would like to have more time even if it's just to edit or work on other parts of the video making process but on this list it says to get ahead on my video content creating. Number three kind of goes along with it and it says, and I'll read it verbatim, continue learning graphic design and finally put together a website. I do have a website currently, but it is all just my singing and theater adventures. I'm going to try to incorporate some of the things I do here on YouTube and some of my consulting business and then my music lessons business, try to put it all together on one website. And I am slowly learning a little bit about graphic design here and there, but I'd like to learn more about that. So I put it on the summer bucket list. Number four is to audition again. I used to do a lot of theater and I'm sure you know, I've talked about it all the time. I've linked things in the cards from shows I've done. I've even shared with you guys what it was like working as a singer and a performer on board cruise ships. But in the process of buying a home and starting a new job and all the travel that I have done, I have not auditioned for anything in a very long time. I did get to do the opera this spring, which was really nice, but that audition was months before I even got the call to do it. And the symphony concert I did was already scheduled back in December. The one that just happened that I will link above in the cards if you wanna see my debut with the symphony here in Columbus, Ohio. Number five is to set aside one hour of pool time each week. I know that sounds really weird that I have to force myself to go to the pool, but after working a full nine to five job, teaching kids certain days of the week, consulting certain days of the week, and doing uploads and filming certain days of the week, it is hard to sometimes find time to do things for you, even if they are things you enjoy doing. So I've lived in apartments that have pools, but now that the condo I own has a really nice pool, I'm putting a little sticker on my calendar once a week to go to the pool, even if it's just for an hour, just take some books or magazine, go out and read and enjoy the sunshine. Number six is to cook one new thing each and every week. Um, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know I have tried HelloFresh and I have tried, I haven't tried Hello, or Hello, I haven't tried Blue Apron, but I have explored other websites that have recipes and I have been falling in love with entree salads and baking. So I'm gonna try to make one new thing each and every week. I'm not on any kind of diet plan right now. I am trying intermittent fasting, which basically means I eat in an eight hour window each day and the other 16 I sleep or fast and that's been great. Um, I've only done it for a week, so I can't give any, you know, concrete experience so far, but I'll keep you guys posted in the future. But for now, just to cook one new thing each week. And number seven is one that terrifies me, but I want to put it on this list so I feel compelled to complete it. I'm going to apply to be a speaker at the TED Talks. If you have never heard of TED Talk, YouTube search it right now. It's basically a conference where people come and they speak about experiences in their life and they're gonna have one here in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm going to apply to be one. I'm not sure how rigorous this process will be. I know they're gonna do a face-to-face -face interview. I know they're going to ask me to stand up and speak in front of a panel presenting what I would present in the actual TED Talk itself. So it could go great, it could go terribly, but either way, I'm gonna say that I tried it, and hopefully, if good things happen, I can share that experience here again with you guys. But those seven things are what's on my 2017 summer bucket list. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you yourself have a summer bucket list and you've made the video, link it down below. Or if you just wanna share in the comments, 
leave down below what you want to do this summer. Thanks again for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like summer, not resolutions, but summer bucket lists. Give this video a thumbs up if you like summer bucket lists. And if you're new to this channel, click the subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.